Guys, Ted Walters here. Welcome to my teaching studio down at True Fit Golf Centre in Warrington. Today's topic that I want to talk about is, is there a perfect ball position? Um, or is it just a ballpark idea about where we need to get the ball so that the club can compress it just before the lowest point of your swing arc? So let's take a look. Right guys, so when we're talking about ball position, I like to keep it into a slightly more simple almost three areas of where I would like to see it for groups of clubs. So I'm going to start with area number one, which is going to occur to your most lofted club and down to around about your eighth iron, okay? So if I was to put golf ball and drag golf ball into here and I'm going to get this stick and I'm going to put it directly down the camera lens almost there. So for eight iron, down into my most lofted clubs, I would like to see if my feet were together, both feet move the same distance, so that golf ball is almost directly underneath my sternum. So whether I had an eight iron or whether I had a lob wedge, that's the ball position that I would like to see. Because that, from that point there, as the club's traveling down the circle, we're gonna get maximum point of compression before we enter the turf and through for the length of our circle. So with your short irons, that's where you wanna try and see it. And if you get into that routine of feet together, so ball in the center, and then move both feet almost the same distance apart, you're gonna find there or thereabouts consistency in the ball position for that bracket of golf clubs. Right guys, so bracket number two that I use personally is seven iron to three iron. Now, because it's a personal thing, some of you guys might find that seven iron could fall into the first bracket, so you could be seven iron to edge. That's something that you'll play around with. But again, from here, this bracket of clubs, I like to see from feet together, one third with the lead leg, two thirds with the trail leg, so you've got one third, two thirds, and then your ball position is a little bit closer to the here. So underneath your left ear, top of the collarbone, and down this left side of the chest, that is where your ball position would sit. And from here, it enables you again to keep the rotation going. But as the club gets a little bit longer, the bottom of the circle is going to, if we get the rotation right, it's going to move a little bit more this way so we can get that maximum compression, then we can get the ball turf impact. At home, play around with seven and eight iron, depending on your bracket number one, bracket number two, but definitely from six iron to your longest iron or into your hybrids, if you carry hybrids instead of a sort of a three iron and four iron, this is where you should really try seeing it and seeing how your ball flight really changes. Okay, so final bracket, I'm going to start with the driver. I've got fairway wood here, but I am going to start with driver. Um, feet together with the heel, again, the heels really touching the, the line there. Keep the lead foot, for me, left foot in place. Move the trail leg, so the right foot, and there we are. So now, as I come down here, as I'm turning, the club gets to the bottom, and then we are hitting on the up. So launch angle is gonna be upwards, maximize loft, control the spin, and we're gonna maximize what we want out of our driver. So rather than feeling like you're hitting too much down on it and across it maybe, so you're not launching it, not flying it as far as you need, getting it in this position here is gonna help you hit it on the up as we go through. Now, although it's not in the bracket, I'm just going to put driver there, although it's not in the, the actual bracket, because you're not going to hit fairway wood from there, I would have fairway wood just a fraction inside the heel, so it's not a huge, huge amount. So when you look at the setup position, if I put it there, You've got the setup, a couple of ways you could do it. You could either set up this way where the ball was looking like it was in front of the toes on your, your right foot or your trail foot, and then move it into position so it's a fraction inside the heel. Or you can have feet together, then move the lead foot a little bit, and then the trail foot. So you, you, again, you've got the same place. Personally, I think you get more consistency in that position of golf ball, if it was in front of your trail foot and then you moved it out of the way, then you know it's always going to be there. You've then just got to be careful that you don't start wriggling your feet around 
so that it becomes too much into here and then you get the club coming too much down and around the circle or you then try and function it back this way and start hitting a little bit over the top. But if you can get those ball positions in those rough areas, you'll start to, to see a difference, I think, in how you launch it, where the low point is and how much more consistently you can start the golf ball to target. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Post your comments in the box below. Love to hear your thoughts on your ball position. Is it something that you pay much attention to? Have you ever thought about it in this way? Post your comments in the box below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. You can follow me on social networks. The links are in the description below. Any points that you have, anything that confuses you that you might want to see in video, again, post Post your comments in the box below, we can organize that for you. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.